Good afternoon everyone, welcome to my Fallout 4 Pip-Boy Edition unboxing. Yes, it is 10 to 1 in the morning on November the 10th. I've just gotten back from the Metro Center where I've just picked up the Pip-Boy Edition and I can't wait. So, without further ado, here it is. <laughs> oh, look at it, it is enormous. It's about the size of my head. Actually, so let's get this slip case off here. Let's just not waste any time, just get straight into this one because I've been looking forward to this for so long. So, we how do we open it? There's that, and that opens that, and then we get into it. There it is. But before we look at that, before we look at the pit boy itself, we get this tray in the top. Has the game in it. And of course, it comes with the steel book edition of the game. And the Pit Boy operating instructions. So we'll stick them back in there. Um, so it's basically just insert well, how to insert your phone. And activating it. And finishing up, and nothing really more. Oh, cool! You've got some little vault boy things there, which are really cool. And then the game itself, which I believe has—do I get some art cards or a poster book or something like that? It is the steelbook edition of the game, which I think you can buy on its own actually. So if you weren't lucky enough to get a Pip Boy edition, and you don't want to spend an absolute fortune on eBay buying one, you can get the steelbook. Which is all shiny and it's, it's actually a boss there, which is really cool. Um, you get a leaflet for the season pass. You get the perks poster, which shows you uh, not perks, rather special levels. Come on, come on, man! Don't don't be a dick. There. Oop. You got all the various. Strength, perception, endurance, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, again. Oh, it folds down quite well, actually. Uh, the condensed edition of the survival guide, which consists of the controls. Simply that. Right. And then obviously you get the disc itself. And the inside artwork of the power armor. Which I really like. I'm sure I'm supposed to get some art cards with it. Oh well, never mind. Not really that bothered. Um, okay, so let's stick those back in because, of course, you want to get to the pit boy itself, don't you? So, here is that, right? Um, okay, let's stick this over here. Sorry, my desk is really full. Right, and then let's. And before I show you the pit boy, I'm going to have that. You get it on the Fancy Dan Robco Industries stand. Pit Boy Model 3000 Mark IV. Manufactured by Robco Industries. Not for civilian use. Uh, is there anything else in the box? Nope, doesn't appear so. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> I have a fucking Pit Boy. Um, right, you get a lot of form inserts for your phone, so. 5S use foam rings, 6S use outer ring only, yada yada yada. Oh, this thing is so cool! Turn on the power, and the power to it. Clearly, there are batteries that need to be had for it, which I don't have. You get this really kind of proper metal clasp. And then. How far does it open? Does it actually open all the way? Now can we pull this clasp off or is it just like that? I probably should have researched this before I actually showed it to you. I don't know if that, don't know if that comes out or not. Or is it just enough? Because you get a little velcro strap, you see on the inside there. And to be fair, even with the strap there, I my hand fit all the way in it. To be fair, I don't even need the strap. 
it fits on brilliantly. <laughs> and then there is the switch there, which lets you open it up. I believe to put your phone in. I really have, should have researched how this thing fucking works. So, yeah, so you can second screen with the app. And your phone just fits into there. So I'm not doing this very well. <laughs> I've never done an unboxing where I actually have to wear something. Oh my god, this is so cool. So then, so your phone fits in like that bit there. Then you have this little thing which fits over the top, which holds it in place by the looks of it. And then you just close it down. Ah, hang on. Put that, then it turns on. Get, get down. I can't get the twat shot. <laughs> there we go, I got it shut. <laughs> I was doing it wrong. So, yeah, I haven't bought put my phone yet because I haven't downloaded the Pip Boy app. But, oh, it just looks so cool. If I get there, yeah, it looks cool. And you've got the Pip Boy light on the back. It's actually really snug and really comfortable. I can see me actually using this <laughs> when I get around to it. So, you've got lots of little like dials. So, you have your stat inventory. I don't think these actually do anything in relation to the Pip Boy itself. You have a lot of buttons you can press and pull. Um, you got a little rad meter there, which I think is a really cool feature. Um, all different things to clickety clack. Well, it appears that you can't use the light, which would be a shame. Um, and then you little power button. So yes, that is the Pip Boy. I'm sorry, I was struggling with it there for a minute or so, but. It is amazing and it is just as good as I hoped it would be. And on its presentation stand, when it sits in, there we go. So, yes, this is the Pip Boy edition of Fallout 4. I am now going to get the game going and start playing. So, look out for the first part of my walkthrough coming up, well, a few hours after this video goes live. Um, and then all this week I'm just going to be bombarding you with Fallout. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the wasteland. Good night.